so we're gonna try something different today. I am gonna try doing the voiceover as I draw. So today I am working on my 100 day challenge again, which is the challenge is draw a character every day for 100 days based off of something. So it could be a color, an object or something like that. I'm being pretty lenient with myself if I wanna do it again maybe later on just to see my progress i have decided i'm gonna be able to do that whatever anyway today i am working on a black swallowtail butterfly so this was my rough outline sketch kind of for the outfit i had done earlier um so here it is i'm gonna do it on my tone tan paper because there you go strathmore tone tan Ooh. I love the way uh, markers are kind of dull, but colored pencils really bring out the color in a piece. So I'm just really excited. I haven't worked on this since last year. So I'm enjoying it. I got some new Prismacolor Collie Race pencils. And so I'm sketching in the color purple right now. And I don't, I've never considered myself like a fashion designer but designing outfits is definitely my favorite part. When I was a kid, I used to say that I wanted to be, wanted to be a fashion designer. So um, if you've ever seen a photo of, black, of a black swallowtail butterfly, um, they're mostly black, and at least the photo that I was looking at had white dots and orange and blue dots a little bit too so I really liked those colors I loved the black so that's why I chose to go with that butterfly I was really feeling something with like big flowy like pieces to the gown so I was like okay something with as I was saying fuck I don't remember what I was saying but I was just feeling butterfly kind of wings and I do like designing some things. I used to want it when I was a kid, I said I wanted to be a fashion designer, that's funny. Um, not that that is something I'd ever want to do now, but I do enjoy drawing clothes. I would like to get better at it. I. I feel, still feel there's a lot of places I could improve in my art, but hey, what are you gonna do? We all are working towards being the best we can be, so. I really like this design. I think my biggest goal is I'm working on trying to draw bigger so I can actually draw details and they don't get like muddy and lost because I used to draw like oh god sometimes I still do you know like like really tiny and like you can't cram details in that and the people who do trust me I follow some people who do and I'm like how on earth do you guys do that it's absolutely bonkers And I know it seems kind of lazy to put like the one arm like behind her hip, but I love that pose for some reason. Like I just love the look of like, ooh, my hips are so curvy that I can put my whole arm behind them. I don't know, whatever. I just feel like most butterflies, you think like, aw, sweet and innocent. Aw, cute, pretty butterfly. And I just feel like the black swallowtail just looks like the most badass butterfly. <laughs> like, she has no time for your problems.
Hmm. Okay. Draw hands, ha ha ha. I honestly have, honest to God, believe that I am never gonna be able to draw hands my entire life. Like, I've just accepted it as my fate. Like, I will never be able to draw hands. So, all of you guys who can draw hands, you better count yourselves lucky. Eternal struggle. The fuck is that? Hmm? Eternal struggle. My pencil's so dull. Cool. We're gonna leave it. Her one hand is not the focus of this piece. So I've been trying. I've been having trouble um, motivating to get these done every day, and I think that's because. I think it, they have to be perfect, and they don't, and being perfect scares me away from doing it, where the focus isn't to be perfect. The focus is to grit, let some creativity out every single day, and let flex those creativity muscles. That's the focus of this exercise, of this 100-day 100, 100 project. So technically this is day 30, I think, and I am still, I have, haven't actually done near as many as 30, but whoops. Because I just, I'm afraid for them to look bad. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a big project. It needs to look good. It doesn't need to look good. I just need to do it. That's the problem I'm having. So now, moving into coloring. I just forgot I didn't put eyebrows on her. Whoops, that's okay. So the thing that scared me when I first got this toned tan paper was I was like, oh my God, look how dark it colors, but it does not stay that dark. So, you know, like, oh, it's okay. As it dries, it dries a lighter color. So I always start with the skin. I don't know why, if like, I just like starting with like, because like the skin is underneath all the clothes and underneath the hair, like if that's just me starting from the bottom up or like skin is kind of probably one of my favorite things to color. So that might be, it might be that I just jump into coloring it. So I, you know, rush to color my favorite part first, which could also be it. Cause I don't know, I guess like I do mess up on the skin sometimes, but I find that skin is like the hardest thing for me to mess up on. I don't do a whole lot of detailed shading and stuff, so. I don't have to worry about like, oh God, those colors don't look that, like don't look good together at all. When, whatever, I don't have to worry about that. And sorry about my voice. I just like realized like, oh my God, it sounds so gravelly. Like I had been sick. Like I stayed up late for the first time in like a bajillion years it feels like. Like late, like four in the morning late. And I never used to do that, even in high school. And I, I was just so tired and then I was so tired I was kind of feeling sick so I wouldn't I didn't eat anything or drink anything because I had a caffeine headache and then just like everything like compounded and then I have seasonal allergies too so yeah and I just I got sick as a dog So for the, since the butterfly is mostly, oh shit, the butterfly is mostly dark, oh fuck, um, I'm gonna start with the gray, but first, I'm gonna look up the pattern of the butterfly. Okay, so that's the butterfly, 
Oh, so pretty. So pretty. My iPad's going to die soon, so I got to got to get the pattern hashed out pretty quickly. So I'm going to break it up like this. And then we're going to So these little circles are supposed to be the bottom wing, and but now that I'm looking at it, it's gonna be hard to see a lot of the color on here. So I might put some of the color into the top wing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, butterfly, you know, terms of like wing and wing and wing. That's all it is. And the leg, and I think there's an antenna in there somewhere. Good God. But I might include some of those other colors into the other wing set. Just so that way you can see those colors, even though they're not really present. Okay, there. I really want it to stay on the bottom. Just, I just do. That's how I want it. So a blue that kind of fits that. Actually, I think I'm gonna add the blue and most of the orange color in later with marker, uh, markers, God. with um, colored pencil. Also, if anybody is watching this and you um, you'd like to do a collaboration or a trade or something of some kind, well, let me know. I am totally up for anything like that. And if you're interested in seeing more of my hundred day project with all my different the different days and stuff. You can go check out my Instagram. I do have it linked in the description. I am more active over there. I'm trying my very hardest to be more active over here because I think YouTube's a really great platform. Um, and I'm an aspiring, you know, I want to be a full time artist. Hey, so I had to switch to the voice, like voiceover method. My uh, my fiance came home from work and was playing PS4 downstairs, so I didn't want that to be in the background of my video. But here I am coloring the wings. So voiceover method, I feel like is always so much more boring, which is why I wanted to switch to talking while I was filming videos, just because I feel like then you know i just have so much more to talk about than just like i feel like voiceovers is always just me saying okay so now i'm doing this and now i'm doing that and that's boring because you can see what i'm doing but i, I didn't i colored the entire second side of the wings and stuff off camera because you already saw that once you don't need to see it again really let's get real here but anyway i want to talk a little bit more about how I'm hoping to use the 100 day challenge to better myself as an artist and a creative person. And yeah, so it is, I learned about this on Skillshare and I took a, like a workshop and I just, I really liked the idea. The only problem is, is I suck, 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 suck at doing something every single day. 
and I'm hoping if maybe I can get better at recording myself. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to make, you know, a nice looking TikTok or something, you know, maybe use that platform to help me keep up with the rest of my 100 day challenge. So yeah, I <laughs> need to get better at it because I, you know, well, being an artist is all about your own journey through self-expression and getting better and that's all about practice and I know that I'm not I'm not you know so blind to think that I don't need to practice I do and I think the hard part for me is just motivating myself because I feel like sometimes you know I feel like it's not going to be as good as I ever want it to be so that scares me away from doing it in general and that's wrong I shouldn't do that I should just do it anyway and not be afraid of how good or bad it may or may not come out. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that this can help me, even though this is day like, what I say, 31? I don't know, 31 days in and I don't have a lot to show for it. And that is a bummer and that bums me out. So I'm going to change that. So if any of you decide to look into what a 100 day challenge is and want to join, I'd love to hear about it. And like I said before, if anybody wants to, you know, do any challenges with me, do, you know, I'd love to do, what are they called, collaborations or anything. Oh, that'd be so awesome. And I really did like how this piece turned out. It's not perfect, but I love it. It's a little sloppy. It's a little messy. The hand is nowhere near perfect and neither are the feet. And after I, only after I finished it did I realize that her face is a little lopsided. But the goal of this challenge for me is not just to make something perfect, but it's to make, it's just to get that character design down. So this character, I felt like I kind of captured at least the look I was going for from the black swallowtail thing, whatever, the black swallow butterfly. You know, because I kind of was know dark and I kind of got the whenever I see something dark I think sassy so my cat is playing with the noisiest toy ever in the background so enjoy that but I just really I really liked this piece and I'm proud that I got it done so I'm really excited for what more is to come so I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and if you did, I hope you hit that like button and maybe subscribe for some more because I would love to get to know you in your art journey and I hope that you enjoy watching mine. So have a good time and stay safe. LOL, jokes on you, I'm not done talking yet. Haha, <laughs> that was my sh little spiel, but, uh, Luna, hey. Um, the Nessies. Um, but anyway, I'm about to come in and do the white dots. I was using my white gel pen, but my white gel pen does not work very well on colored pencil, and I put, like, quite a bit of colored pencil down, so I ended up, for the dots on her dress and stuff, going in with my white Posca pen, which was super duper white so <laughs> which was awesome I did have to you know blend it out a little bit because it was so white but it was awesome I just love how the pencils and the white just pop on this paper like you think white gel pen pops on other fun stuff you know on other papers on white paper like no it you do not understand white art supplies until you color on a paper that is not white so it's just oh look at those dots they're so crisp oh love it and that highlight and the hair and I gave her blue eyes which I feel like is really piercing and brought out that little bit of blue and it was kind of I like the contrast between her super dark outfit and her super and her like light skin light eyes and light hair it was really cool so then I went did go in with um a micron and and in some eyelashes because oh, you just gotta. And so here is 
the final product after I sign it. Woohoo! But, so there she is. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you later.